Brandon Jones. Yo. I'm here to salute you. Yes, it seems you are. <laughs> For those about to rock. <laughs> For those about to rock, we salute you. Bam. <laughs> Thumbs up. Ah, <laughs> oh, us. We, we played this game with last night. Um, we didn't totally lose about 20 minutes of footage of us doing it. <laughs> Don't pull the curtain back. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, what, what it? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Faked you out. Um, all right, so what is this game, and what is that giant ridiculous thing behind you? Uh, that is, uh, well, first of all, we're playing Iron Brigade. Yes. Can I say that already? Yeah, no, we have not. Yet. Okay. This is Iron right. Brigade. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering. Boom! Boom! Thumbs up. You never uh, got tired of that. The... Yeah. But <laughs> this game's real stupid, right? It's made by Double Fine. Yes. Um, the fine folks that uh, have brought you such games as Psychonauts, Psychonauts, yeah. Broken Age, yeah. Uh, yeah, Grim Fandango. Yes, yeah, that's another uh, one which I have not played. I would like to play that one. I'm, that. I'm kind of waiting for it to be on sale on PS4. Right. Um, I <laughs> <laughs> when it's on sale. We give that a thumbs up. <laughs> and a salute. <laughs> and a salute. Um, but yeah, uh, this is Iron Brigade. This yes. game was originally called Trenched when it came out. Uh, there was a little bit of a uh, kerfuffle about licensing of the name. Mm -hmm. The intellectual property rights uh, belong to uh, a dude in Europe. So whenever they went to go release this game over there, uh, he threw a fit. And they just saluted him and gave thumbs up. Right. And said, we're just going to change the name. Fuck you. Um, basically, it's one of those situations where this guy had licensed the name to make a board game out of it, but never had, I guess. Okay. And so he was kind of just trying to extort money out of him. Uh, but yeah, this is a four-player experience. You've got bays here where if you create a lobby... You can have uh, four trenches in here. Right. Um, the idea behind this game is that it's not like a steampunk game. It's an alternate history World War One. Sure. Um, you know, there's very much a like Edison versus uh, uh, Tesla. Tesla sort of conflict. Mm -hmm. And somebody came up with the idea of like, oh, with all this crazy alien technology that we found, what if we just took trench warfare and made it mobile. So there you go. They're not mechs. They're trenches. I'm totally okay with this. <laughs> I love the, the sandbags at the top. Yeah, I mean, it's, well, I mean, it's mobile trench. I mean, like, yeah. you know, what's a fucking yeah. trench without a sandbag? Agreed. Totally agreed. Um, but yeah, like, so you just go to the radio room if you wanted to. You can dump right. some more dudes in here. This game's old enough that I, I don't know if anybody's playing it. Right, but, yeah. Um... Yeah, you got a dude over here. He's your uh, commander. He's in an iron lung. Yeah. Uh, he's usually smoking. He's usually which smoking. I think he's awesome. <laughs> he Here's his little cigar there. He earned it, I think, you know. <laughs> Bummer is you can't salute this dude while you're standing here. That's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, I'm hitting these triggers I, and nothing's happening. I feel like that bumps it down a few points. Yeah, I Bummer. Uh, At all points, you should thumbs up and salute or be able to. So I've activated the mission. Uh, you walk over here. If I want to, I can customize my trench before I go leave. Um, you can modify the core. There are like different chassis okay. um, that you can choose from. Like uh, this one over here has more slots on it. Right. So, boom. <laughs> Change the paint job. Right. Uh, from what I can tell, I don't think you can. You have beige. <laughs> I don't think I've unlocked a different color for it yet, so we're kind of beiged up. Wouldn't it be kind of great if there were actually no colors, it just had the option for just beige? That'd be all right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's kind of that. I mean, uh, this game has loot in it, so as you go along, you can... Uh, you uh, know, uh, upgrade your guys. Yeah, you get, get different guns stuff. and shit. Different uh, guns. Which is pretty great. Right, uh, we right. got a flat cannon here, yeah. standard machine gun. Yeah. That's couple of machine guns here. Yeah. Now, one thing that surprised me is this is a um, this is a sort of a protect the protect your base type game. A um, what do you call those? Uh, rush. Uh, rush defense. Tower defense. Tower defense games. Yeah. Just uh, comes in waves. Uh, enemies come in waves and whatnot, which is interesting. Uh, I didn't see that coming. Uh, but this game looks pretty cool. I I, I like the. Like the cut of its jib to use a uh, World War One uh, era. I dig that type thing. Um, I approach this game in a very specific kind of way. Mm -hmm. um, 
what I like to do is machine guns and automatic fire weapons right. on the right trigger, sure. and then sniper weapons and single shot things on the left trigger. Right. So that's how I've set up this trench. Uh, I've never used this kind of trench before. Right. Uh, so let's <clears throat> see how that goes. Awesome. Um, let's just go ahead and deploy. All right, we're ready to deploy. Let's do it. Let's do it. I like the little walkie thing. Yeah. The loading. A little trench there. A little trench walking. He's walking. Recon, no, it's a rubbish just off the coast. This game has a great art they style to it. Yeah. I, I really like the. Uh, if they breach the hole, yeah, I like the like way that it looks. We um, yeah. have a downloadable game, and it's like 10 or 15 bucks. Right. Um, it's on PC now as well. That's awesome. Um, I, I may get this for Steam because it just looks really. looks like a lot of fun. Now, what you're doing here. You're putting out a turret, correct? Yep. Yeah, there are like specific spots where you can throw turrets. You can throw them anywhere. Yeah. Uh, the nice thing about these specifically chosen spots, uh, I don't have enough for that. Um, Kill those guys. The the nice thing about that is that you have the uh, uh, yeah, kind of an assurance, right? That that's going to be in the path of dudes. Right, yeah. So you don't, like, put it somewhere where guys aren't going to be coming at all. And yeah. You've wasted a turret somewhere. Um, although I do like the strategy of occasionally just throwing turrets right in what I know is going to be the path of guys. <laughs> right. It, just to slow them down for a minute. Right. So that's basically just kind of a waste of money. Right. Um, but... Because they'll take out the turret, obviously, but... They will. And they'll stop and try to take it out at least. Yeah, but it, it can yeah. be a nice diversionary tactic. Right. That purple stuff you're picking up, that's the loot, correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, and that's the currency... The, uh, well, that's not necessarily loot, that's Wait, currency. Currency for um, getting new stuff. Yes. So I got some resistors coming from over on this side, so right. I'm going to turret down. Right. Here these guys come. You uh, mentioned you like the look of the aliens, too. Yeah, I, I think that's a fantastic art style yeah. on these dudes. They're really cool looking. They're... Um, you got this, like, kind of suck-in ability. Right. Uh, to pull in stuff. There are also turrets that you can unlock later on. Right. Uh, in placements that will just pull all that stuff in for you as well. Right, yeah. Um, because one of the things you'll notice is that as I'm completing these waves, bam, these guys are already coming again. Right, yeah. Um... Just completed that, and here these guys come. Yeah, so it's it's definitely in your best interest to uh, and, to, to be quick. Yeah, you are not wasting time. And your base uh, has a bit of a light bar. Uh, that's the the little half moon at the bottom there. The yeah, little... in this mission, I'm not defending a building. I'm yes. defending the USS McKinley, which is a big boat that also, uh, in the same way the trenches are, it's got legs, and uh, <laughs> at the end of some missions, it'll just go walking around, and that's all right. That's fabulous. That's utterly fabulous. Uh, you've got shotgun trenches down right now. There's also, or turrets. You've also got, like, slow-down turrets, or, like, little, uh... Yeah, I don't have those pods. equipped this time, because okay. it's the first time I'm using this model of trench. Right. All my unlocks, they're, they're uh, they're basically Woo. specific to the, uh, uh, to the, the kind of trench that you were using. Right. Uh, but it is in your best interest to continually grab new trenches. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. Um, we'll go ahead and upgrade this one. Right. Upgrade that turret. Throws in a new one. Awesome. That uh, makes it more powerful. Um, here's a bad. Here's the bad guy with his yes. with his awesome handlebar mustache and beard. Oh, that's the explodey one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, they kind of just run up to you and explode. And if you are on the other side of the map, they'll just run up to the objective and explode on them. Right. Um, so they're they're kind of fucked all around. Yeah. They are annoying. Remember the last time we played, they sent a giant rush of those guys there. Oh, and here they come again. They're not, uh... Boom! All right. Well done. For ease of play, I chose the first mission. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we might get... Yeah, give you a good idea what this looks like. Right, so we'll get a little bit of tutorial stuff about so, some of these guys. And sure. what have you played as far as, uh, like, tower defense? Uh, a, for a tower defense game, well, the closest thing, I guess, would be StarCraft, um, which there's some missions on there to defend the base as long as possible or whatever. 
Uh, it's RTS, I know, but uh, that's probably... So you've not point. played, like, a traditional... Yeah, I'm not a traditional one, really. No, like, like pixel jump monsters. I have not played that, no, no. Uh, um, <laughs> like, there are tons of tower defense games that are, like, on iPhone and shit. Right, yeah. Um, they're yeah. an acquired oh. taste. Um, uh, Plants vs. Zombies. I did. Play, I played that game. That is absolutely a tower yes. defense game. Yeah. Plants vs. Zombies. That is totally that. Um, so yeah, it, it has all that sort of thing. A lot of variety in the uh, types of turrets you can put down. A lot of variety in the enemies. We've already seen what three types of enemies now. I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah there's the blowy up, the blow up guys, the blowy up, the blower uppers. And, uh, I'm the blow up in this. The blow up in this dude. I'll, you'll ever meet. <laughs> I like the setting. It's cool. It's not. Yeah, alternate World War One. Yeah. Not something you usually expect to see. Yeah, yeah. It's usually like steampunk, 1800s, late Victorian type stuff or whatever. Yeah, I kind of equated this yesterday when we were playing this to this isn't necessarily steampunk, it's it's kind of like gear punk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gear punk. It's, it's a pretty good word for it. Cause... And there's not a lot of vacuum tubes in this yeah. universe, there's just a lot of like fucking heavy gear yeah. bullshit. Churning pieces of machinery. Just yeah, all... everything's very you know, industrial revolution yeah. mechanical. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really cool looking. Yes, that is steam coming off, but don't take that to anything. Um, yeah, no, I, I love the look of it. The look of the aliens is cool, really, really kind of original. Um, the the like, premise of, you know, in uh, this alternate version of World War One, you know, we humans got a hold of an alien technology that uh, would allow them to uh, basically make really insane machinery. Right. Um, <laughs> and have it be just like the most balls out crazy <laughs> design shit you've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, tr walking trenches. <laughs> the joke of, yo, this is a walking trench is pretty dumb. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. But it's also a really awesome game. Yes. Um, I said this last time. Uh, I want to purchase this game and play it. I would love to play some co-op with this. I think it would be a blast. I think this would be an absolute blast to play. And yeah, it's surprisingly good. It's like almost better than it has any right to be. Right. I, I hate to say it that way. But, <laughs> like this game is just it's real nuts. No, I mean. Double Fine kind of has a reputation of that, don't they? Like, uh, yeah, they don't really have a reputation in this type of action genre. Sure. Like the uh, the creative director on this game is a guy named Brad Muir. Right. Uh, who do you remember a game from the PS2 called Alter Echo? Uh, I do not. Uh, that was a game that he was known for. He was like a combat designer in this. And okay. So I think if there's one thing that Double Fine has ever needed, it's combat design. Right. Um, I think the games where they've had combat that's never really panned out. Their well. strong suit. Like I, I think right. Brutal Legend was fine, but right. I worked on that as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I could say, oh boy, here's, yeah. here's the big guy. I remember him from last time. Big Tommy, Big Willie, Big Willie, yes. Big Willie, Big Willie Willi style, all in it, getting jiggy with it. He kind of reminds me of the Cloverfield monster a little bit. Let's just plant some more turrets down for this guy. But yeah, like an hill drop uh, loop. Yeah, as, um, as it goes, yeah. He yeah, just strolls up. See, like, your little box came out of him? Yeah. You pick that up. Boom. Oh, that's what, oh, wow. He tore him up. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot more guns than the other trench we used yesterday had. Right, yeah, yeah. This ship is set to save. There we go. Drink it down. Yeah. Bring it down. That's Salute that man. Salute that man. <laughs> thumbs up him. Oh, man. Give that man a big thumbs up. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I... The one thing I'll say about Iron Brigade, like, I don't want to show too many levels of it, um, just because yeah. this game's not incredibly long. Right. But there is a reason for you to play levels multiple, multiple times. Right. For the gear that you get out of it. Yeah. Um, the... There are more waves in other levels, especially as you go farther on, mm -hmm. and there are also more boss waves. Right. 
Um, and then there are some levels where you'll get multiple bosses in one wave and shit, and it right. gets pretty fucking hectic. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, there are air-based enemies uh, that you can get yes. in... Uh, uh, that you can get air turrets for, like flat cannons and shit. Yeah. Um, there are mines, mines that you that can toss out. Toss out. Um, there's all sorts of like really interesting stuff. Yeah. Uh, you can see like we've got uh, some XP levels here that unlock gear, get your cash, right. outfits, paint jobs. There you go. Um, but yeah, there's like a really compelling reason for you to play more and more of this game and you know who doesn't want to walk around on a ship and just fucking do this <laughs> it's all your co-op buddy yeah like just hey guys hey, how's it going how's what it if going? this guy's okay oh, he's fine <laughs> look at him <laughs> But yeah, that's well, Iron Brigade. Yep, that's our look at Iron Brigade. This is our I, first. Uh, I like this game. It is a good. It is our first uh, video old ass game, I would say. Yeah, uh, it's it's not necessarily that old ass. I think it's about three to four years old. I think it was maybe a 2011 right. joint. Yeah. Not uh, not a first look, we'll say. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like to consider it a last look. Last look. Um, at, uh, yeah. But yeah, like I I strongly recommend you go out and uh, check out Iron Brigade, man. Yeah. And, uh, there's a Russian bear DLC for this. Oh, that sounds which, amazing. Which, it's, I think it's called like the March of the Russian Bear, which mm -hmm. I think is pretty great. That sounds amazing. He's working on a trench over here. Yeah, look at that. Um, yeah. Uh, now I, I'm I'm probably going to honestly purchase Woo. this game and uh, play some co-op with you. I think that would be. Uh, see if we can do a game. Oh, get into okay. You want to get into a game? Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, cool. Let's see uh, how active on Mother's Day right. to date this <laughs> the in the three, middle of the afternoon. The three-year-old double fine game is running. Let's see how well that's going here. Dude, we got some people coming in. Oh, awesome. See, man, like some of these games, like they just they, they hang around forever, I guess. Hey. Oh, yeah! Ah, yes! yes. Yeah! Salute, Salute this man! Salute that man! <laughs> Hello, sir! Party for duty! Come on, dick! Salute! <laughs> Salute me, you fucker! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Welcome aboard! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Let's do this! <laughs> just running around this thing. Yeah. Somebody salute me! Salute. I'm like the dad from Twin Peaks. Somebody dance with me! <laughs> Someone dance with me!